What's up, Mo's Tube? I got this hot sauce here. It's called Shit the Bed. I kid you not. It comes in a box like this um, on the back, and here's the front. So you see, Shit the Bed, hot sauce, heat is 12 out of 10. I am actually going to um, end up buying this one right here, the black label. That's going to be next, hot ones. 16 out of 10. My mouth is watering just thinking about this, right? And um, it comes with a three pack of dude wipes and they're mint flavored. <laughs> mint chill for your bung hole. Um, but here you got this. Uh, what do you think this will make me do? Shit the bed, shoot flaming kangaroos out my butt, sharp my pants. It says it's great on eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the box. All right, so there you go. Serve eggs way more than just fertilize, you big stud. Strange. All right, here you go. Glass bottle. It's kind of small. Here it is. Fits in the palm of my hand. Although I got big hands, so. Um, it's got a pretty cool looking top. Safety button. <laughs> Uh, take a look at the bottle, the artwork on here. It's got a whole bunch of different fruits and vegetables at the top here. Looks a little, um, little intense here. Aussie brand. Win free sauce. Share food picks and tag. Orange juice, chili pepper, scorpion, and bird's eye. I've never even heard bird's eye. What the hell is that? Refrigerate after opening and consume within a year. Okay. I don't know that I'm going to get through the entire thing in a year, but you know what? I'll try. So much stuff in here. Goji berries. This will probably kill the coronavirus. Don't quote me on that. Product of Australia. No chili extracts are used. Goes great on everything, especially eggs and pizza. <laughs> they keep on emphasizing on these eggs. Warning, this sauce is extremely hot. <laughs> All right, um, so I'm going to go ahead and try this. All right, so here we go. Just going to pop the top. As you can see, it's still... Come on. Oh, there it goes. Ooh, smells really good. Kind of like, um, I don't know, <sighs> like I went to BD Mongolian barbecue or something. It smells really good. <sighs> I got the tablespoon here. Just going to go ahead and load it up. <laughs> all right, before it spills all over the table, my wife would kill me. Oh, my mouth is so watery. Let's go ahead and turn. Here it is. See that? <laughs> Let's make sure we're watching it. This is the same sauce right here. No cuts, no breaks. This is Moe's Tube. We're doing it for you, all right, YouTubers? Mm, mm, mm. kind of terrible I'm not gonna lie <laughs> this stuff is uh... <laughs> mm. we'll go ahead and give it a minute here of my total reactions oh <sighs> sorry it's somebody at the door but <sighs> my eyes are not like tearing up like terribly but it looks like it left a shit stain on my tongue. Oh. All right. The heat's dying down out of my mouth. Um, the taste is not as it smells. It smells really delicious. The taste is a little like... Mm, I don't think it's the best taste to it. Oh. Not gonna lie, it is burning. Although I've had hotter, uh, the Carolina Reaper, so that's why I'm gonna go to the 16 out of 10.
Yeah, the burn is still on my tongue, but it's not like unbearable. I feel it now starting to work its way down. It's all about like right here in the sternum. Well, with that being said, I got the dude wipes to take care of it on the way out. And here's some more information on the box. And on the back side here. Maybe I should not. Renee. Made in 2011. She's got a Facebook and an Instagram. Whew. Shit the bed. I wonder how she came up with the name. I guess it was on the website, I think. Let's see what this says. Uh, never trust a hot sauce with water as the main ingredient. Also, never trust a fart. It'll probably uses powdered ingredients. So she's using all natural. We got uh, gluten-free apple cider vinegar and uh, orange and lime juice is what is it is squeezed fresh from local farms okay if any of you guys out there in YouTube world have uh, tried this uh, let me know comment down below shit the bed I doubt I'm gonna do that but um, thanks for watching later